This is Eric Yates and I'd like to show you how to use the website clipart.com that the school district subscribes to. Whenever you're in the district, if you go to schools.clipart.com, you'll be automatically logged into this fabulous resource for making our lessons and presentations look wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and type a search term in the keyword area here. Since I'm a pilot, I'm going to type airplane, hit enter, and see what comes up. Lots of neat in images here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the thumbnail of an image that I would like to use. Do I see any on this page? Mm, nothing I want to use here. So I'm going to click this word next. And that will take me to another set of images. As, if you look here, I can see that I'm looking at number 31 to 60 of 3,756 images. Loads and loads of them. Let's see what I can find here. How about something like this? I'm going to go ahead and click on that thumbnail. Now I see a slightly larger version of the image. This table down below is very important. It gives me many choices for selecting different formats. Now, Generally, I would suggest using the JPEG format simply because you, you can use that nearly anywhere. However, if you're an active smart board user and you use images frequently in notebook, PNG with transparent background is a great format to use because you never get that sort of white rectangle around the image. Let's go ahead and use the JPEG image. I'm going to slide over in that row to where it says download and click that. I get a brand new window with the image in it. I'm going to right click on the image to get the drop down menu here and I want save picture as. I get my typical saving window here. In my H drive I have a folder called clip art. You should create something like this so you can save all of these images. I want to name the picture and I want to click Save. Now that picture is available for use in any program. I can use uh, the insert function in Word, Excel, Publisher, or even Notebook to bring that picture in. We'll take a look at how to use pictures in programs in some other short videos. Thanks for watching with this one.